As you might have guessed, Lakehouse is a combination of Data Lake plus Data Warehouse. Let's take a look at why such a product needs to exist in the market. When majority of the data was only structured data, the data warehouse was the obvious solution where you could populate it with ETL and the reporting could be done in a very efficient manner. With unstructured data, the notion of data lake became necessary so that the machine learning pipelines could learn directly from the raw data. This meant that there had to be two separate pipelines, one for data warehouse and one for machine learning. With advanced analytics and data science use cases, the access to structured analytical data as well as the raw data within the same use case is becoming necessary. With separate data lake and the data warehouse engine, maintaining them consistent and having the data reliable is a huge problem. The data warehouse relies on the updates based on the ETL. Now the frequency of ETL can vary and the data in warehouse by design will always be stale. The machine learning frameworks are not designed to work on top of data warehouses. This leads to a friction between the two engines and the efficiency of advanced analytics is very limited. The cost of multiple copies of data and long running ETL tasks just increases the cost of ownership. To solve these problems, a solution needs to be devised that can actually use the compute storage separation to provide a consistent interface for the tools like BI reporting, data science and machine learning. So what we need it to do is perform efficient ETL, metadata caching and indexing. And that's where the notion of data lake houses came into the equation. Let's take a closer look at the implementation using one of the open source frameworks called Delta Lake. So the original components are the stream and the batch inputs, the underlying storage, let's assume something like Hadoop or S3 and the data science and the analytics ecosystem. To manage the integration between these three things, Delta Lake proposes a structure of ingest tables, which it calls as Brones tables, where the ETL data is dumped. Then they call something as refined tables, where the first stage of process data is stored, something called as a silver range, and then final aggregate store, where the final versions of the purest data exists. Remember, this is just a proposed architecture and building it in real life is far more complex. The asset transactions in the database make the data reliable and they can solve the freshness aspect of things as well. The data versioning features allow the data science frameworks to work with various versions of data and come up with the most optimal solution. Unification of stream and batch sources makes the data pipelines very easily maintainable when it comes to ingestion. Products like Delta Lake provide a feature of schema enforcement which can help ensure that the data doesn't get polluted by accidental writes. The lake houses should provide a facility for deleting, updating and merging data so that the ETL can ensure only a single copy of data is always required for all use cases. With compute storage separation, expecting a data warehouse-like performance from a lake house can sometimes be far-fetched. As of now, the lake house products do not provide a row level security, a column level or dynamic data masking kind of features which are necessary from a compliance perspective. Storing the data and metadata separately in a lake house can pose certain problems whenever new metadata is getting added or modified. Concurrent access at the underlying storage level uh, through various channels might still pose a problem, so it is a work in progress. The Lakehouse products still don't have a robust master data management, workload management, and referential integrity kind of features. Multiple SQL dialects can always pose a problem while accessing data from the Lakehouses. For example, Data Lake is tightly coupled with Spark SQL. Lake houses are not a drop-in replacement for data warehouses. People have to learn new things and change, as you know, is always hard. Some of the lake house products. Now, one thing you might notice is these are all open source. So Delta Lake, Apache Hoodie and Iceberg. These are open source and there is no out-of-the-box offering from any of the cloud vendors.